welcome to this week's edition of The Gun Doctor. We've spent a lot of time talking about a variety of semi-autos, but this week we take a look at three new revolvers by Uberte. For 2022, Uberte offers select El Patron and Cattleman Brass single-action revolvers chambered for 9mm Luger cartridge. These revolvers had space at the cartridge mouth without the need for moon clips, allowing cartridges to be loaded individually into the cylinder and ejected in the regular fashion. In addition to offering single-action revolver fans another cartridge option, these 9mm models provide expanded range opportunities, with 9mm ammunition being readily available and at generally lower price than many of the other traditional handgun cartridges shooters will find it easier to spend more practice time on the range without blowing their budget. Available in March 2022, the Uberte 9mm Luger revolvers include the 1873 El Patron, the 1873 Cattleman Brass, and the 1873 Cattleman Brass dual cylinder. The 1873 El Patron 9mm Presented with checkered walnut grips, case hardened frame, 5.5 inch blue barrel, numbered cylinder, and easy view sights, the El Patron has the classic profile of the Old West SAA revolvers, and the manufacturer's suggested retail price is $729. The 1873 Cattleman Brass 9mm sets the standard for the style and performance of the modern era single action shooter. The 1873 Cattleman Brass blends a sleek walnut grip, case-hardened framed and blue steel barrel, and cylinder with brass backstrap and trigger guard, has a manufacturer-suggested retail price of $599. The 1873 Cattleman Brass Dual Cylinder delivers the same performance and standout features as the brass 9mm, but it ups the ante with two included cylinders, one chambered in 9mm Luger and the other in 357 Magnum and the manufacturer's suggested retail price is $749. Each Uberte gun is hand-fitted and adjusted from the factory to ensure precision performance right out of the box. All Uberte firearms are protected with a five-year warranty and are serviced in the USA by factory-trained Uberte gunsmiths. And under the heading, in case you missed this, a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit ruled last month that an order closing gun stores and shooting ranges in Los Angeles and Ventura counties during the early part of the COVID pandemic was unconstitutional. The lawsuit, McDougal v. Ventura County, was supported by several pro-gun organizations, including Gun Owners of America and the National Rifle Association after the shutdown order was made back in 2020. At that time, a district court ruled that the forced closure of gun stores, ammunition shops, and firing ranges didn't violate the plaintiff's constitutional rights. However, the Ninth Circuit didn't agree, instead finding that the closure did violate law-abiding citizens' right to keep and bear arms since buyers can only buy guns by going in person to gun retailers. Writing for the court, Judge Lawrence Van Dyke said, There is no reason that the loss of Second Amendment freedoms even for minimal periods of time, would not likewise constitute irreparable injury. This is especially true in Second Amendment contexts, where the need for armed protection and self-defense can arise at a moment's notice and without warning. People don't plan to be robbed in their homes in the dead of night or to be assaulted while walking through city streets. It is in these unexpected and sudden moments of attack that the Second Amendment's rights to keep and bear arms becomes most accurate. Van Dyke also expressed displeasure in the way the closure was handled for gun shops compared to other types of businesses. Well, you'll be pleased when you visit Smoke and Gun Works and the area's largest selection of guns. Smoke and Gun Works, where you can buy, sell, or trade, shoot, shop, or train. You can do it all at Smoke and Gun Works. Smoke and Gun Works, 8785 North Baileyville Road, Forreston, Illinois. For The Gun Doctor, I'm Tim Bivens.